welcome back to the channel. Today we work a little bit on VR6 engine. Like you see, I don't have valve cover, but uh, why I don't have it, you gonna see. And then we work with this called uh, SAI, secondary air injection system. Uh, we make uh, SAI delete. You can buy uh, one uh, adapter that uh, deletes this, but uh, I gonna make my own. Uh, why to buy when you can make it yourself? And I have uh, idea with this uh, coolant pipe also. Also uh, modifying little bit uh, part on uh, oil pan. Uh, yeah, I think uh, let's start working. Like you see, I have my TIG welder also set up, and the valve cover and uh, and part on oil pan is also on the table. Maybe a little bit about my TIG welder. It's uh, SVS Alum TIG 200. Uh, it's a really good machine. Uh, it had uh, this uh, one arm with a flex head and regulating uh, amps here. The second uh, arm for smaller works and the pedal and a lot of stuff came with this welder. And you have here a little display. Here you can see T welding, easy AC, easy DC, pro AC, pro DC. Uh, in easy AC you can uh, Regulate weld amps, uh, pulse frequency, two duct control or four duct control. But uh, in uh, Pro AC, you can regulate all the parameters. Uh, there are many of them. You can see Pro AC, and you can save your own uh, settings here. Free flow, well damps, post flow, AC balance, AC frequency. You can uh, regulate all what you want or need. So yeah, it's a really nice machine. I use right now easy AC. It's a little story about this welder. Uh, it's made in Australia and I'm in Estonia. So I saw this uh, welder in engineer to slide uh, Instagram account and uh, starting looking more about this welder and then I want it also but uh, they didn't send to it to Europe so I had a friend in Australia who, who did buy this welder for me and send it to Estonia Let's start welding. We gonna weld here a turbo oil return line. Like you see, I have already marked position. It goes here like this. And yeah, so let's drill the hole here. Let's see how big hole we need. So we need a 20 millimeter hole. First, let's make the smaller hole here. No. The hole is made, so no return. Here, the biggest value is 20, what we need. Let's drill. We have here now 20 millimeter hole. need a little bit more. Yep. 
it's nice fitment. You see? I'm uh, planning to weld it inside and after that we can lock this. If you are welding aluminium then uh, cleaning is uh, really important. All needs to be really clean. So I here with the uh, brush I cleaned and now I'm start cleaning with aceton. Now all is nice and clean. Let's weld it. I don't have a tungsten uh, grinder. So the best way to do it without grinder, you need to have a drill and you need to wear safety glasses. You put the grinder on. And now your tungsten is nice. So, and for having a tungsten out the uh, right uh, size, I have this uh, so called uh, rookie block. Uh, here I have uh, cup sizes it's a six, cup 6, cup 8, cup 16, cup 12. So, here this is a uh, cup 8. You're gonna put it here in. And every time you have the correct uh, size out the tungsten. And if you have a 12 cup, you put in the 12 cup. And now it's more out. But okay, we had number eight. So. It makes uh, life a lot easier. You need to clean the filler also. Because the dirty filler is also bad, really bad. Yeah, like you see. And it's uh, welded. I'm uh, really happy how it came out because uh, I have not welded uh, aluminium a really long time. And the uh, plug is also here, so if I want to add uh, turbo for my swap, then 
one, one thing is made. Oil pan is welded, so it's uh, time for valve cover. Uh, valve cover is here. So I did uh, remove this uh, original breather, what uh, VR6 has in here. So it was like uh, this in here, with uh, five bolts. I did remove this, uh, pretty easy. And in uh, originally it has only one outlet here. Uh, I did remove it. Now we are going to install this uh, AN10 fittings. It's really tight. One here and one here and then it should be good. Also we need to weld this uh, small hole here. It's for this uh, original system but we don't need it anymore. So let's clean and uh, start the welding and I have seen many people who have uh, put the outlets here but uh, I didn't want there so in this uh, original place it's a little bit nicer I think and yeah and when you drill the second hole here you need to look and measure that you don't go in this uh, casket uh, place. So, okay, let's start uh, cleaning and then we can start welding. nice so the valve cover is ready and now let's make uh, the side edit let's remove this uh, size system and let's start working So it's this little system. I will remove this also. Let's remove this valve here. interesting system but we don't need this one and now let's uh, cut this pipe we don't need it I need to cut here also and I have little plan with this corner okay when you work with uh, aluminium then it's good when you have uh, aluminium cutting disc it cuts uh, a lot easier and faster. So safety glasses. And if 
think I mark here the cutting point. It's removed. Uh, we use this part later. So let's clean this, and uh, then I made this on late before. It goes in here. It uh, good tight fitment. Everything is cleaned, and this goes uh, tight in. And I made the plate, it's good to weld when it uh, stays in plate and also it takes uh, heat what comes on welding on this plate. And uh, let's start welding. I did uh, already stack weld it and let's weld it now. So, it should hold nice, and so let this uh, thing a little bit uh, cool down, and then I have one idea more with this piece, and let's make that. I installed it uh, back to engine, so the other idea I have is that uh, this uh, coolant pipe, it goes to interior radiator, but uh, it locates somewhere here. So if I want to use this, it is uh, rubber hose comes like something like this. But uh, I have idea to use this uh, nice corner. I marked uh, the place where I gonna cut and put this corner. And here I uh, weld this uh, connection place and then I don't need uh, so big uh, corner here with the hose and I can go here to the interior radiator so bolt it on the engine and uh, all uh, looks nice so I think we can weld it and one piece done again. So, valve cover is now on the engine. Uh, it's uh, done. I have here uh, two catch can uh, takeouts and uh, side lid also done. And uh, rotated this coolant pipe to the rear of the engine. And here we have part an oil pan. So the oil pan is also done, it's turbo oil return. Today we had a lot of uh, aluminium welding, like you saw. And uh, now the next step with uh, VR6 is uh, changing uh, chains. And when I start changing uh, chains, I will remove this uh, oil pan and uh, install also this uh, part on oil pan. And after the chain changing, need to add new gasket here, the valve cover, then should be all with this uh, VR6 engine, then we can put uh, flywheel on again and then we can put the gearbox on and uh, start uh, swapping it into my Audi. But yeah, so 
If you like what I do in my workshop, then uh, like, comment what you think about this uh, project and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.